Hey everyone, today we're going to be talking about Mecha Phantom Beasts. Now you may be wondering, oh my god Al, why are you talking about Mecha Phantom Beasts? The deck is so bad, it is so terrible, why are you talking about them? The deck can't really do anything. And yes, my friends, you would be right. Uh, this is by all intents and purposes a meme deck review. However, if you've noticed over the past year or so, Mecha Phantom Beast cards have been appearing in the meta a lot. O-Lions even got banned and people are, are taking in cards like Cultwing and Warbloran into their decks just because uh, Auroradon exists and the main culprit being Crystron Hauk. Because without Hauk, Auroradon would be considerably difficult to more difficult to summon. You'd actually have to summon the three monsters, you know, or go through some other convoluted means to get to it. Now, that not necessarily would uh, remove the complete purpose of the Despot package, but while Hulk is still in existence, Mecha Phantom Beast can do some good things. But I'm not going to beat around the bush. I am going to talk about this deck and what some of the cards that you may not have seen before do. So the searcher of the deck is Mega Raptor. If tokens summoned to your side of the field, you can summon a token. And you contribute a token to search any Mecha Phantom Beast monster. The non-tuner Mecha Phantom Beast monsters carry an effect that protects them from card effects while you control the token. Um, and they all carry certain different effects. Uh, Mega Raptors obviously tribute a token to search a monster. Raiden's unique effect, while on the field, you can discard a card to summon a Mecha Phantom Beast token. This is what a Mecha Phantom Beast token looks like. They are level 3 wind machine monsters with zero attack and defense. Um, so yeah, Raiten, uh, by discarding a card, can summon a Mecha Phantom Beast token. This isn't a once per turn effect. Um, however, after you use this effect, or once it's on the field and you've used this effect, um, you, you cannot summon um, using monsters on the field that aren't Mecha Phantom Beast monsters. So you can only use Mecha Phantom Beast monsters and their tokens as material for the rest of the turn. Triple Tether, Tether Wolf, probably the best normal summon in the deck because it generates a token on normal summon. Um, however, without O-Lion now, you can't banish the O-Lion from the graveyard to get an additional normal summon. Um, meaning you can't go scrap recycler, send O-Lion, summon a token, banish the O-Lion, summon this, summon another token, Aurora Don, without needing to go through the Hulk of Fibrox. BS, should we say. So, yeah. Uh, Tether Wolf also, um, when it battles, you contribute a token to have it gain 800 attack, which will put it on 2500, making it quite a beefy body to run over your opponent's monsters should you need it to. You may have seen this card be teched into your decks recently, which is Mecha Phantom Beast Coltwing. On special summon, whilst you control a Mecha Phantom Beast monster, you can spawn two tokens, and by tributing two tokens, you can target a monster, uh, a card, actually. Yeah. Tribute uh, two tokens to target any card your opponent controls, destroy that target, and then banish it. Which is really cool. So it's sort of like a mini sort of cosmic cyclone, but not quite. One you may not have seen is Mecha Phantom Beast Blue Impala. It can only be used as a synchro summoner of a uh, machine type synchro monster, and the other synchro materials can be from either your hand um, or, f or field, but they have to be Mecha Phantom Beast monsters. So. Essentially speaking, um, Blue Impala, yes, it's a tuner, um, and if it's in your graveyard while only your opponent controls a monster, you can banish it to special summon a Mecha Phantom Beast token, which is quite nice. Double Warbloran, it's a level 1, it can increase its level by 1 if you tribute a token. Um, also, if it's used as a synchro material for a machine type synchro monster, you can summon a token, which is cool. One Harleyard. Uh, you can bump this up to two if you want, but I find it quite bricky. So, its token spawning effect lets you spawn a token if a monster on the field is tributed to activate a monster's effect. So that's very specific. However, it can bring Mecha Phantom Beast monsters out of your hand if you tribute a token. Now, a replacement for this could possibly be Hamstrat. I do have a Hamstrat. That one can um, tribute a token to bring back your uh, Mecha Phantom Beast monsters in the uh, graveyard um, 
which can like bring back Aurora Dawn if you tribute it itself and you can do some cool things with that but we're not going to be using that today um, I do have an ultimate rare one for some weird reason uh, I got off of a friend ages ago but yeah <clears throat> now onto the engine cards I'm telling you there's a lot of them triple symphonic warrior guitar this is predominantly you activate this in scale um, you pitch a card to bring the mics out of the deck and the mics gives you an additional normal summon we're playing this engine because we lost O-Lion, and uh, yeah, O-Lion is, you know, it was a big blow. Um, the deck was terrible as it was, but now, uh, yeah, it's just sad, really. Yeah, maybe if, if Hulk goes one day, we will see them back. <clears throat> Triple Despot 3 brings the Despot out of the deck. It's your one-card combo. Triple Despot 1, this card is actually properly insane in the deck, because it's not once per turn, and they stack in the graveyard, so if you have multiple copies of this in the graveyard, and you summon a Cult Wing to your field, spawn two tokens, you can bring um, two Despot 1s out of the graveyard, so yeah, uh, pretty ridiculous, um, and the one Turbo Booster, because it's a free monster that summons uh, can summon itself from the hand if you've normal summoned a machine, uh, so under the spell lineup, quick play spell, triple scramble, scramble, scramble your eggs. Um, so if your opponent's monsters on the field outnumber your non non your non token monsters on the field, you contribute any number of Mecha Phantom Beast tokens to special summon that many Mecha Phantom Beasts from your deck. It's a sort of winner takes all card. Um, you can get a lot of field presence with this. You can get some really good cards out of the deck. But it's pretty much dead going first unless you set it and you use it to disrupt your opponent's plays while you have monsters on the field with tokens. So like, say if you control Aurorodon and the three tokens in this set, if your opponent starts building a board to try and um, deal with you, you can activate this card um, while they've got big board presence and bring out some Mecha Phantom Beasts if you need to. Uh, triple Chalice, you want to be negating stuff as well as removing stuff from the field with Cosmic Cyclone. Dumping your cards with blue with burial as well as summoning with one for one monster reborn and the one Saki called by the grave. Extra deck, double Auroradon. Uh, if you don't know what this card does, um, you probably should. On summon it spawns three tokens and you can choose up to three of its effects. If you tribute a token, you can pop a card on the field. If you tribute two, you can special summon a mecha phantom beast from your deck. And if you tribute three, you can recycle a graveyard a trap from your graveyard back to the hand. Uh, it's ridiculous. You can't link summon after using it, but you're never going to be doing that anyway. It normally just tributes itself off and you just synchro summon after that. As well as its partner in crime, the, the Crystal and Helka Fibrax. <sighs> I hate this card so much. Onto the Xyz Draco Sack. Still one of the best uh, rank 7 Xyz monsters in the game. Not only does it carry the same protection as the rest of the Mecha Phantom Beast main deck monsters, by detaching a material you can um, special summon two Mecha Phantom Beast tokens, as well as the fact you can tribute a token to pop a card on the field, but Draco Sack cannot attack that turn. Uh, so, yeah, just be wary of it, but Draco Sack's a fantastic card. And it's relatively easy to summon too, as well as the big eye, which is, again, one of the best rank 7s in the game. Maybe this guy, this is uh, bringing you back to Mecha Fan, uh, sorry, not Mecha Fan, at least format. Imagine if that existed. Dragon Ruler format. <clears throat> Conqueruda is a generic uh, level 7 synchro that protects your tokens from being destroyed by battle or card effects, which is fantastic. And it can also float into a Mecha Phantom Beast monster when it's destroyed um, from the graveyard. And uh, by doing, by tributing all of your tokens, you can bring one back. Uh, Jakulula Slan is a bit of a weird one. So, it's it's a level line which has to require all Mecha Phantom Beast monsters. Uh, this is create uh, this is makeable with Auroradon, um, but it's a bit convoluted. And I haven't read this card in a, in a while, so you're just gonna have to uh, excuse me for a second. So by tributing uh, Mecha Phantom Beast tokens, up to a number of cards. In your opponent's hand, when it's synchro summoned, you can randomly discard cards from your opponent's hand, equal to the number of tributed uh, monsters. And other Mecha Phantom Beast monsters you control cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. So, <clears throat> if you control these two synchro monsters and tokens, you're <laughs> you're in a really good position because um, 
your opponent has to use non-destruction removal, non, uh, yeah, to get rid of your monsters and tokens. Um, yeah, it's fantastic. Um, but it's a bit hard to bring out, so that's one, you know. Oh, I don't know. I don't even know why I'm doing this day profile, to be fair. Uh, one Chambara for OTKs. Uh, one Herald of the Arclight for Negation. Marcher. Trish. And Omega. We've got two proxies. They're going to be your rank 10 players being a Gustav Max and a Juggernaut Libe for more OTKs, should you need to. But yeah, this has been the meme review of Mecha Phantom Beasts. Um... I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, it's it's a funny deck, but yeah. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, if anyone has any ideas of what I could do next, um, you know, just casual sort of deck profiles. I've got a few things uh, like pure zombie world, orcus stuff like that for a budget. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.